Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric Bravo and this is The Storyboard Room, a place where I talk about the animation industry and how to get in. I made the Nickelodeon cartoon short The Outsiders, which you could watch on the Nickelodeon YouTube channel, and wrote the book How to Get an Animation Internship. I'm currently a script coordinator, production assistant on the show Rise of the TMNT. And in today's video, I'm gonna be exploring how you, as an international artist, can work at an American animation studio and why you shouldn't aim to get a visa from a studio. So without further ado, let's get going. So you're an international artist and want to work at a major animation studio in the US. So how do you do it? First, I'm going to tell you that even though it's hard to accomplish, it's possible. And there's two ways to do this. You either become a full-time employee or a permalancer. In order to become a full-time employee as an international candidate, you will need the studio to give you a visa. However, it is rare for a studio to give out visas. And the reason being is that it's expensive for the studio to provide a visa. And as an international candidate, you're basically applying to be an American. So the paperwork the studio has to process for a visa is very difficult, as opposed to hiring someone from the the US. There's a ton of lawyers involved and the state becomes involved because of immigration and it's something that HR and legal would want to avoid if possible. From the studio's perspective, in order to hire you this way, the show that is considering you has to prove that no one else that is an American can do the job that you're applying for. Basically, you have to have a very specific drawing style geared towards that show that no other American can do. It's possible, but it's very difficult. Being on a work visa in the US animation industry can be difficult for you as well. Shows get canceled all the time and sometimes without warning. And if a show ends, you will need to be quick to find another job or you will risk getting deported because job stability is so fickle in animation, either from a show getting canceled or they're moving to a new style direction, you would need to hurry up to find another job. So a way around this is to become a permalancer. So a permalancer is short for a permanent freelancer, which is basically a full-time employee, but categorized as a freelancer. Meaning you're working for a studio full-time, 40 hours per week, but you don't get any benefits from the studio. Because you get no benefits like health or 401k, you'll actually be getting paid more than a full-time staff employee, which is awesome. But if you have health bills, you have to pay pay for that out of pocket. If you end up converting to a full-time employee, your salary will decrease, but you will get the benefits. As a permanent answer, you will have the ability to get another job if you want, but you are still expected to complete 40 hours of work for the show you're working on. Studios hire international permanent answers a lot more than giving out visas for full-time employees, and these freelance positions can be anything from character designers to storyboard artists to even writers. So if you're outside the US and want to work at an animation studio in the United States, your best bet would be the permalancer route. You will have better job flexibility, you don't have to move, and you get paid a bit more. However, you won't have any benefits, so that is something to consider as well. I hope this video helps you have a better understanding of the best way an international artist can get work in the States. And if you want to learn more how to get a freelance gig, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as I'll be going over this in a future video. If this video did help, please hit that like button and if if you have any questions or if you're already an international freelancer working at a studio in the States and would like to share your experience, please comment down below. Until next time guys, stay tuned, see ya.